not about me. Good morning, everyone. Uh, this is Dr. Kramer, and I'm working with Mrs. Goulden today, and we're going to do a quick walkthrough of convocation tomorrow. Uh, faculty, this is for you. When convocation begins, please line up here where Ms. Goulden is standing. Students, please go to your class meeting areas and be right on time. Please be there right at 10 o'clock. Outside, there will be a PA system set up, music will start playing, and faculty will lead the way outside. The weather is not so great today, but tomorrow it's going to be overcast with a high of 64. What do you think about that, Ms. Golden? Well, I sure am glad I selected a dressy outfit that's in dress code, but I wish I'd brought a sweater. Also, I wish I'd chosen more comfortable footwear since I'll be standing for a half an hour. That's right. People will be standing for up to half an hour, so make sure you wear something comfy. Now, when we get to the circle, as we proceed, we will go clockwise around the circle. The reason we go clockwise is because convocation is being held in the northern hemisphere. If it was in the southern hemisphere, it would go counterclockwise. That's a science joke. If you don't understand it, take another science class. So here we go around the circle. Music's playing. It's a nice day. Why not? Ms. Gilden is going to model where you stand. If you are a faculty member, you stand just behind the outer brick circle. If you're a senior, you stand on the brick circle. Juniors, about a quarter of the way in, sophomores. And finally, freshmen stand on the inner brick circle. The way convocation is going to go is like this. We will come in. Let's go ahead and keep walking around. We will come in. We will proceed around the circle. Ms. Bartow and Mr. Kohler will give welcomes and a short reading. Mr. Dickinson will lead us all in a reading of Standards High. That's going to sound great since we're all set up in a circle. Then one by one, every class will have a charge read to them. First, the sophomore class president and vice president will step forward and read a challenge to the freshman class. The challenge will be a short speech with advice, goals, and other such things. After the speech, the freshmen will exit the circle, still going counterclockwise, back down the sidewalk into the school. The juniors then read to the sophomores, the seniors read to the juniors, and the faculty reads to the seniors. Something to consider, Mrs. Golden is now demonstrating, that the person who leads each class needs to stop here. We need to leave the sidewalk open for incoming and outgoing traffic. If you have any questions about convocation, Please come see us. We hope you don't have any confusion about convocation, and we hope you dress warmly. Thanks so much. Bye.